In Colorado, most folks' water supply is, is driven by snowpack and snow melt. Colorado Springs typically gets about 15 inches of rain, so you can tell that, that that's not going to meet our customer needs. So we're really driven by snowpack. In a big year like 2011, we had a, a whole lot of excess water. We were about 120% of average on our system yields. And then the following year in 2012, we were 50% of average. Drought is very challenging from an operational perspective at Colorado Springs Utilities. As you can see, the reservoir level is very low here at Crystal. So as compared to normal, this reservoir is, is about half full. And that represents very clearly what the rest of our system looks like. We're at about 48%. We're actually in the second year of drought in Colorado, and it's been a statewide drought, which is sort of unprecedented to have two years of statewide drought. So going into last year, our storage was in great shape. We were at 71% of normal last year, which is where we want to be going into a year. But the problem is, is we didn't have any inflow to recover that storage. And so while we were able to make it through last year, this year we're having to do some demand side management to keep the water in our reservoirs and ensure that we have water to meet our customers' needs, not only in 2013, but also in 2014. Colorado Springs can be vulnerable to a drought because it's not on a major river. And so we don't have a major water supply right in our community that's, that's easy to grab from. In Colorado, most of the water supplies for all the communities are, are it's driven by snowpack and snow melt. And when snowpack's low, for one year, we have enough storage in our system to, to mitigate that and for our customers not to see any impacts. But when we're in an unprecedented drought like we're in this year and going into 2013, the storage can't mitigate the, the lack of snowpack. 